Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna look at sculpting a hand. I'm playing this in fast motion because it took me about an hour and a half. That's the hand I'm working on for another project. Anyway, so we start off with really good references. I found this image online. I photoshopped a little bit, put it together, um, and then I'm just using the image planes and kind of just tracing the contours of the hands using Dynamesh. Of course, we start off with a very low density Dynamesh model. The, the lower the better. The higher the geometry levels, the harder it is to control and move and push and pull the model. Uh, you start adding a little bit more geometry, a little more density to Dynamesh as you want to detail the model. You can see here I'm just pushing and pulling the fingers out, resizing them, adding some thickness. Once again, it's really hard to do if you just start off with a crazy high density. You definitely want to keep your poly counts low right here. Right here, just blocking in some details, some of the muscles of the hands. Having good references really helps. Uh, I like to load Google images on another screen and look at pictures of whatever I'm sculpting, as well as the references I already have loaded in ZBrush. We're using Damien Standard, just cut into it. Given that the density of the mesh is still really low, it's really easy to just add a blob of clay or just cut into it really heavily and then just smooth it out. And if you make a mistake, you can pretty much smooth and push and pull and fix your mistakes very quickly. Overall, the sculpting I found, you, you really just gotta practice. Uh, you sculpt every day, sculpt a little bit, even just 20, 30 minutes, sculpt random things. The more hands you sculpt, the better sculpting hands you get. Learning ZBrush really isn't the hard part. The hard part is just mastering the tools, learning the anatomy, just figuring out how to use the tools to get the shapes you want.
right here, I'm really just refining the fingers. Getting ready to add the fingernails in. Finding the wrist bone a little bit. For the fingernails, I masked out the area where they'll be, extracted them, made them a completely different subtool, and I smoothed them out. Just refining the shape of the fingernails. Now I start to push them into the skin. Now I basically go through and I push the skin down, I cut into it to make it look like the fingernails are popping out. Once again, just refining the nails, making them kind of overlap over top of the, the finger a little better. Pushing some of the skin up against the nail. Okay guys, as we're kind of wrapping up this um, quick sculpt of a hand, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, leave any comments you might have, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.